game number two for Nebraska after the eight-point loss last week. A kickoff will settle into the hands of Betts at the four-yard line of Nebraska football. A true freshman running back started in the opener last week, and he will start today's game, Gabe Irvin, but they won't throw it to him. They won't hand it to him. That is, they fake the handoff and start pounding the football. And here's a missed exchange. The ball is on the ground as Martinez tried to hand it off to Urban. And that's a mistake that will push them back 10 yards. It puts them in a third down and 18. First drive of the game against Fordham. Martinez steps up, runs out of one tackle. 25-yard line, 30 lunches forward. And there is the ability to run the football for Adrian Martinez. Turns a third and 18 into a... Biggest thing with our Martinez. The, the key is he wanted to throw. He couldn't find an open receiver. But because of that, he was able to take off and pick up that first. And they are running up tempo, Matt, as that officially started for the 33. And the will of that defense. Martinez to throw. And it's Toure with his second catch of the game. The transfer from Montana, where he put outstanding numbers on the board. He can make some plays, can make things happen. And again, up tempo offense. Ball to the 46 for the second first down of the drive. One of them came on a third and 18 scramble by Martinez to overthrow. I'd like to see him handle the ball a little bit more. Tried to handle it earlier and had a missed exchange on a handoff, but now he has it. Handoff to the 49. Gain of three, running behind. Sometimes the guys just, I don't know what they were doing. They had no idea what they were doing. A lot of mistakes. In the middle of the offensive line, the center Cam Jurgens. Back to Martinez on the snap, a roll right, and a throw downfield for Wyatt Lieber. Looking for a pass that would have been caught inside the five, may have carried him in for a touchdown. Out and rolls out, he's got a lot of time. All he's do is set his feet, he overthrows him right here. We miss another one on throw on third down, leads to a punt. Daniel Cherney, first game as a punter last week from Canberra, Australia. And this punt is fielded at the 12-yard line. He averaged two. Losing one, this is a different kind of atmosphere than what they're accustomed to. They run the ball in the first. He's got some sides. He's got a nice arm. The ball comes out of his hand pretty quick. It's going to be how... Look, I like this kick. And there's an example yeah. of how quickly the ball comes out of his hands. The throw's a little bit behind to Keith Carter. And he'll throw it again oh, to the sideline. It's incomplete. Ball. Second down after the incompletion. Fordham has one first down. The Rams... Have moved it out to the 27, 15 yards so far on the drive. From behind, down he goes. Quentin Newsom blitz off the edge. Demorat is equaling the season high from any game of last year. Loss of four, third and 14. Demorat the throw, and he finds to Keith Carter for the second time of the game. And both times they have that had him starting at the 12. They moved out to the 39. Running the ball, a plunge over the 40. Zach Davis. Who is it? At the box inside, whether they're going to run out or not. They'll throw out of that two by two set. Ty Robinson almost got there. And the case Carter with a one handed snag. That's a first down, and Carter has been the man. Is because he had he had time to throw. But watch the watch Carter. That's a fantastic job. Great catch, and it's a good catch all the way through. Got to the middle of that zone. A throw. Trey Wilson is the running back. He will tote it to the left side, trying to bounce outside, runs out of bounds. Runs out just inside the 30. Great job of protecting him, giving time. Zach Davis is back in. He picks up a rusher. A pass through the hands of the receiver, and it's intercepted by JoJo Doman. A Fordham drive comes to an end on the turnover. The tray on the outside, you've seen a few of them. Right now, Marquis Step to see who they will try to get running. He comes in, transferred from USC. Played three, played and had three carry. Powerful straight line guy. This is what I expected to see. He's going to cut it back and he's hit at the line and down he goes. He just got great penetration and messed that whole thing up. Step ran for 11 yards on the first play of the drive. And it's a steady diet of him. No, Martinez keeping. Martinez went to the left, cut it back right. And there was some space to run, but the space closed down something with it after the interception by Jojo Dillman a moment ago. It's third and three. Martinez has a good pocket, and he finds some more. Ature, his preferred receiver so far today, crosses the 50 in the up makes a nice tackle. Drotty from Santa Barbara, California. It's safety for the Rams on defense. Austin Allen a catch, and a big tight end driving down the left side. 
First down and out of bounds. And this uses his strength and powers through that. And able to run after a lot of contact after James Conway hit him. This time Conway slowed him up a little bit more, but Allen's still driving the tight end from a ward. Yard line. This drive started after a JoJo Doman interception. Marquis Step driving into the red zone now before Ryan Greenhagen. Lasting tackle a defensive player of the year, like you mentioned. Good, good football player. Play fake, roll left, second down to the back of the end zone and incomplete for Torre. Samori Torre, third and 18 today. Torre last week, three catches, ran it on a jet sweep a couple of times, but right now it is just right through the heart of the defense. Marquis Step. Needed the 12. That's where he's down. Minutes played in the first quarter. Nebraska's second drive of the game. Marquis Step. Looked like there was room, but the room closed up pretty quickly. He's inside the 10 to the nine. See how he diagnoses things. He reads things well. Step hit at the line. Greenhagen among those who drive down Step at the six-yard line. And you said not only does he have a great head early this week to Joe Conlon, who's going to fight in this game. He said Greenhagen would be a fighter. And here's a run inside, short of the first down. Nice job by Courtney coming off the edge. Big moment in the game. Chris Hickman at tight end goes in motion. It's fourth and two at the four. Irving, the true freshman. They fake it to him, and Martinez runs and stretches. And scores the first touchdown of the game. Best job by Adrian Martinez to make a miss. Well, we will look at that just a little bit more after Brendan Frankie's kickoff. He had four of six kick 24 career rushing touchdowns now for Martinez. And here is DeMorat and the Fordham offense on the field and a run by Zach Davis. Tanner. Oh, uh, DeMorat in trouble here under pressure. And just the Elzayat to the top. Fotis Kokosoulis and Dekis Carter to the left. And it swung out right side. They go to the running back, Jack Davis, and shy of a first down. John O'Friel punting for Fordham. And the Rams punter drives it back to Cam Taylor Britt. Fair catch called for and made at the offensive possession. We did not see Savion Morrison run the ball last week against Illinois, but we do today. This drive starts well. Morrison running again, sweeping left side, 35 yard line. Played with him in San Francisco. Good OU running back. Morrison took it to the 35. Martinez on third and four. He just had a four-yard touchdown run, and he throws underneath, but short. About that touchdown, he had it. He could have stopped them on fourth down. Daniel Cherney's punt, and it's an over-the-shoulder kick. Put up the Rams from the Patriot League with their third drive of the game. Demorat throws, and it's caught Garrett Cody. Cody leaning in and going to ground to catch it at the 36 mark. First I down. gotta tell you, this air ball's right on the money. I'm impressed. Kevin Decker, their offensive coordinator, told us his eyes and feet are always where they need to be to account for his accuracy. Field. Run it. Demorat. Pump fake. Run it. Sprinting for the. Just run to that left side. Let's see what happens. Who do they trust on third and one? The running back Zach Davis and goes low, and has the first down. One quarter played in Lincoln, Nebraska. And Fordham with Zach Davis, who just had a short run for a first down, has a long run on this first down, and he's upended inside the third by Deontay Williams. He's getting up a little slow, but I'll tell you, I love, I love what Kevin Decker, this offensive coordinator, is doing. He has, what he's doing is he's spreading things out, and he's committing two yards on that run. Fordham moving the ball for the second of their three drives. DeMore at the throw in the end zone. Lynch. Penalty not called in the first quarter. Bullet throw, Coco Sulis, cut back, spin to the right. Coco Sulis has green in front of him, and a touchdown for Fordham. Fotis Coco Sulis has brought the Rams to within an extra point of tying the game on the road early in the second quarter. It is tied. Here he is, Fotis Coco Sulis. Slipped around Markel. Demore, that's a really nice job, but I really like what the offensive coordinator Kevin Decker is doing. Brandon Peskin with the kickoff here, Matt. Xavier Betts fielding at the four over the 20. So you can draw it up. That's Kevin Decker, that offensive coordinator, did a great job. Toure is in motion. They'll pitch it to him on an option. Martinez to Toure, and Toure bounces off a tackle up the sideline, out of bounds, first down. 
Uh, if they don't, if Perkins doesn't get a hit on him, he's out the gate. Nice job of fighting it off. Looked like he was held, but does a nice job of coming over and knocking him out of bounds. Omar Manning had a block to help Torre on that 20-yard run. Now Gabe Urban on first. Adrian Martinez has six completions today. He needed three for 500 in his career. Now looking for his seventh, and he has it easily because Omar Manning was wide open along the sideline. Then brings it centrally and is down to the 22-yard. And there's a wide open player. Running play on first down. Urban. On second and eight. Urban. Gains two. Elise Miniker down on the sideline for more on the number. Nebraska spreads it out here on offense on third down and seven. Inside the 20, Anthony Diodato coming with pressure. Martinez got away from one and two, but he eventually could not get away from one. Goal for his only try for three. Now from 39, he was 13 of 15 last year. And Connor Culp to give Nebraska the lead, and he does the nine-yard touchdown during the spring game. Brendan. They just get you. Fordham. After the touchback for the 25, and this is bounced out to the outside. Room to run on the best run of the day for Trey Wilson, who's backed up Zach Davis today. How good was that run? Almost 30 yards out at the 45. Yeah, look, what you're seeing right here is just a nice job of, of blocking up front. And this, and they surprised. I'm surprised that Fordham's having this much success offensively. And they'll stay with Wilson, and he doesn't have anywhere close to the running room as he just did a moment ago. Yeah, pick up two. Back to throw to Morat and has an open receiver to Keese Carter. Carter caught 52 yards worth of 72%. Third and one, and DeMorat keeping it, Short. and he's forced down off the edge. First down. Lynch is in as an H back to block, and he was able to open up a little bit of room for a surge forward by Trey Wilson. It wasn't much. Nick Henrich was there, but Eagles had 11 last week against Illinois. Had the tackle there. A throw on first down. Hamzi El Zayad. After the fourth and one conversion. Then the incompletion on first down. And completion on second down. MJ Wright moves it for the 30. Playing like they've been here before. Got to deal with the noise and the atmosphere on third and four. Underneath Hamzi El Zayad. And he turns right into a tackle. Iowa transfer from Traverse City, Michigan. He made the tackle and the kick is blocked. Line and Weber then tries to throw it. It is caught, but it will be brought down at the 30-yard line. Markel Dismuke with a block field goal on the 40. Maintains a three-point lead because of Dismuke. And comes through unblocked. Penalty in the game. Maybe he was just practicing. After the block field goal, Nebraska starting from their own 31. Martinez, a throw down the seam and a catch in Fordham territory. Nicely done as Samori Toure takes. Yeah, so you're going to watch. He's going to get, he's in the slot. And he's going to try to get to the middle. Coming right down here from the outside, right down there in the middle. So that's just all vision. You got to be able to see all that as a defender. That went for 31 yards. This is Levi Falk, who stretches for the 30. And well, they certainly have something in Samori Toure, who has been a real factor in big plays and passing plays for Nebraska so far. Marquis Step, USC transfer, jammed up right at the line to gain for the. And now big hole on third down and short. Marquis Step down near the 20 yard line. Yeah, no one. Marquis Step still in the backfield. Turning forward, bounced off a tackle. Step is upended. Anthony Tony, Tony I told can't take a 300-pound guy on with your hands. You got to stick your face in his chest. And running the ball again is Step. This is 10 carries in the game now for Step. This is what I expected, Mark. This Gord. Xavier Betts is in motion. Whistle. False start, number five, offense. Five-yard penalty, still. He's in the backfield, and it's step. Second and goal at the eight, James Conway stands him up at the four. 
that penalty, penalty obviously hurt. They choose to run it. Third and goal at the four. They scored for the four a moment ago when Adrian Martinez ran it in, and they'll do the same thing again. Touchdown, Nebraska. Control the narrative on the inside and let Demorak throw the football. And Demorak does throw the football, and it's caught by Hamza El Zayat after the touchback start of the drive of the 20. El Zayat. So they Prior to the false start, timeout, Nebraska. Kent State. The game in front of us right now is Nebraska and Fordham. Nebraska up by 10. Fordham finds Hamza El Zayat again. He ran out of a shoestring tackle. He just had a pitch and catch go for 17. Limit the number of people in the box. Find the holes in their zone. El Zayat has 36 receiving yards on the drive. This is Trey Wilson. Fordham has played 10 games in the modern era against FBS teams going 2-8. and eight. Overthrown, Fotis Kokosoulis, the intended receiver. Five seconds. Fordham 2 for 5 on third down. Looking to convert this one. Demorak just throws up a jump ball and it's intercepted. The second one of the game for Nebraska. This one by Deontay Williams. That first in Nebraska. Williams had two picks in 2018. Here's his first in 2021. That's really well done by Williams. He just blasted that receiver. No separation whatsoever. Again, as you saw a moment ago, the third career interception for Deontay Williams, the other two in 2018. Torre again. Oh, he's the favorite target today for Adrian Martinez. They got a thing going. As that one's out the 45 to the 47, 30 yards. So two things. First of all, they have time to throw. They used a timeout on defense a moment ago, but still two timeouts. Handoff up the middle, a bounce by Morrison for a gain of two, and at least drives this offense, and that sure seems to be what he's doing. To throw Martinez on second down and over the middle. Ooh, and a little bit behind. Matt Lubick, the offensive coordinator, told us yesterday is their best receiver one-on-one -on -one in space. Back to throw it. Martinez. Oh, and there's Ture again. Catch number seven of the day. He is racking up the numbers here on the first. The line's doing well. And they look to continue to do well, opening up room for Martinez on the option. Late pitch, Toure. Tightrope down the sideline, stepped out. I knew you would remember. <laughs> there was no doubt in my mind. All day, Martinez, will he run or throw? He'll throw. And Austin Allen is the recipient of the throw. First down to the Ford. Feeling the benefit of that, of being protected. Where a week ago, he didn't. Savion. When I looked at it, it was... There was a lot of mistakes. And Martinez, quarterback draw, looking for his third touchdown run of the day. And he's denied that touchdown by a few. To do. Gavin Watson stopped him at the one-foot line. But now it opens up easily. And Sidion Morrison, on his fifth carry of the day, finds pay dirt. Great day. Today, they're dominating. Almost 86,000 in attendance today, and the return to everybody doing their job, and they're just starting to kind of take key with the kickoff for Nebraska. And he had four touchbacks last week. He's got three now. The biggest thing for their defense, they've been playing mostly all zones with no pressure. Coco Sulis is in the game. Matt will take an inside handoff. The wide receiver, who has the only touchdown of the day for Fordham on a 31 yard pass play in the first quarter. This can work, and you can throw a score in here. It changes the game. Second down, a short five. Coco Sulis, Dolman in the open field. Tackles him for a loss after the kick. One of two interceptions thrown by Timmy Demorat today. And with the crowd. Did the same thing there again. Luke Reimer pointing. Henrich is on the edge. Demorak had a good pocket. And the roll throws across his body. And he finds Trey Wilson. Marker down. Plays short of the first. Number 71. Offense. That penalty is declined. Is over the play. John O'Friel's punt. Short. It rolls. Oh, and Cam Taylor Britt bobbles it. He had a problem, obviously, on a punt return last week that led for a safety. And it's for the ball. <laughs> Fordham has recovered it. Exactly. To get back in this thing, watch. The ball takes a bad bounce on Britt Taylor. It stays in bounds. Now, the question is, he does have it, and he had... Yeah, that's... 
No, he's not out of bounds. His feet are touching one. Down on a 14 play, eight and a half minute ball control drive. Here's an end around, cut back, Coco Sulis, and Coco Sulis weaving in between and underneath would be tacklers. Mark picks up a couple of the yards. Let me just board him. Had seven receiving touchdowns in 2019, one last year. But he was an all conference selection, all Patriot League selection. And Tim DeMorad is going to throw it deep over the middle, incomplete. Those 376 games, 12 have been played against FCS opponents, winning them all. Nebraska playing FCS Fordham today, up by 17, still coordinate on game day. Doesn't tell them what to run, but does manage fourth downs. And they're going for this fourth down with DeMorad flushed, trying to keep the play alive, throwing and coming back to the ball is Deontay Williams, the safety, with a second interception of the day. Interception, two of them today. Marquis Stepp is the running back. The interception and return put him in the 36. Room for Stepp. Crosses midfield and into Fordham territory. Under told us, the defensive coordinator, so many good things about what their leadership provides. Now quickly moving. First, it was Stepp on the run, then it's... The only way they can do it is if they bring an extra person and are afraid to go to man coverage because they can't run with the receivers. Step hard to bring down to the process. They are culture keepers right now, showing players practice, film study, how to eat right, showing everybody how to do things the right way. Step's doing that right now. 54 and Sikdom in 70. They're just crushing them. And running behind that right side. of He's from Indianapolis. Second down to the 10. Step hit hard by Greenhagen. For the year, last year, he's on the Buck Buchanan watch list for the FCS Defensive Player of the Year. Steps running and driving and picking up the first down and almost scoring to the one yard line. Three of their last four drives now try to make it four out of five. Here's Step and Steps hit at the one and then is driven backwards. And then some afters. It's second and goal. Brambles tackle. Push the ball back a yard. Martinez will flip it out, and it's caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown for Chancellor Brewington, a transfer from Northern Arizona. He's got to look at the red-clad fans here at Memorial Stadium. 86,000 today. And it's Trey Wilson who will run the ball here. And Wilson surges forward for... Wilson runs. He was hit in the backfield by Jordan Riley. Then he was state over Northwestern last night. And then a lot to look at from today. DeMorat to Wilson. Stop short. Try to roll and throw it on third and two. Sideline to sideline, inside linebacker. You can see it on display then. John O'Friel with the punt. Brody Felt is back. Remember that Cam Taylor Britt had a fumble. And crushed us. <laughs> it happens, man. Yeah. Oh, nice Speaking tackle. of crushing, their running game is trying to do that. To 4.1 last week, they've improved to 4.9 today as the pressure comes from Steven Williams. And Martinez got away from the pressure and fouled Austin Allen. And Austin Allen, that's not going to help the rushing yards per carry, but that's a pretty darn good running after the catch by the tight end. From yeah, the accurately, and Allen picks up the first. 26 yards on the play. Martinez looks off to the left. Savion Morrison. And on. it's incomplete. It's incomplete. Run for 30. From the 42 after the close catch, but incompletion. And an incomplete pass looking for Samori. So taking his leadership a leadership up a notch and all about that physical play too, guys. 30 rushing yards, two touchdowns, 224 passing yards. Looking to bump that up. Just a skosh on that Avion Morrison, the quarterback and the running back respectively. Now tight end Austin Allen in motion on a fourth and five out of a timeout. And the Fordham end of the field. And Samori Toure catches it again. His eighth catch of the day. First down converted. Diving inside the 15 near the 12. And, you know, not under duress. And it's, a tough, and it's a big, big throw. Martinez will just scamper out of bounds. Handoff didn't look. Are you zero in right now on Adrian Martinez? To your point, clean uniform right now. Yeah. That, that shows you how they physical and they've played virtually mistake free. On third down. 
And it's a pitch on the option. Samore Toure catching the ball today eight times. How about this run for a touchdown, though, for the transfer from Montana? That was all on Martinez. He waited to the very end. He drew in the defender and then pitched it out, which opened. Kellen Meyer with his team up by a 38-7 margin. Just inside of the 376th straight sellout crowd. Here's a throw by Tim Demorat coming back for it. MJ Wright incomplete. Coca Sula's caught a touchdown pass for Fordham. It was 7 7. 31 straight since. Demorat over here in the first 11 plus minutes of the third quarter. And he's under duress. Coca Sula's comes back to catch it. And maybe back. Bench, though. John O'Friel with the punt. Brody belts and he bobbles a fair catch. Cam 20th, one of the first college football games played after September the 11th. I'm telling you, if you love Husker football, you are going to love that. New quarterback, Logan Smothers to Older. Coming up on Tuesday. Another running play here on second down. More on Logan Smothers in a moment. Right now, third down and two. Let's see if the drive sustains. It does not. The Group pass by the, the player. That. Ramirez Johnson, he got into the game last week against Illinois and runs the ball here for, for a first down on board. 11 second, 100 meters. There's a lot of big runs against the defense in practice, and now he's getting game reps. Hands the ball off to Ramirez Johnson. And play drive to tie it up at seven. And going there, here's Ramirez Johnson with a run. Bounced it off to the left side for a first. Under James Franklin. 33-yard line now for Nebraska, moving inside the last minutes of the third quarter. 33 of Fordham. And Logan Smothers has his first completion. Oh, and look at the moves by Alante Brown. They wanted to get him on the field. Brown caught three passes last year from Chicago. And then went to St. Thomas More Prep in Connecticut. Smothers will keep it on the option. Turns the corner, shot. The tune of 100 yards right now. Yeah, Step just had four touches last week, but 18 carries, 101 yards today. A oh. Morrison running down near the five. The ball scored it out at the end. Devin for right. Fordham. Yeah. We'll talk about that disparity. Not easy to do when you're, when you're taking a beat down. Savion Morrison hangs on to the ball, scores a touchdown. Dating back to the Bob Devaney years, 1962. Kellen with ball. Exactly. So if you want to get a good fan base, you start them young, and that's exactly what they're doing. Down goes Trey Wilson at the line of scrimmage on the run. That wasn't too friendly, if I remember. Right. <laughs> Three-yard run on a 45-7 lead. Homsi El Zayat comes back, but he lost his momentum to drive forward as he was. Again, Oliver Martin has not been on the field today. Cam Taylor Britt had a fumbled punt, so that's why Brody Belt is back to receive this one, but he doesn't get any play for the last time in a Big 12 championship game in 2010. Logan Smothers on second down. Smothers with a lot of room to run, a big hit. Oh, wow, Ryan Green Egg and Logan. Smothers to Aaron Allen, Xavier Betts goes low to catch it. Play from Logan Smothers. And now here's Smothers who faked it to Amir Johnson. He was running in the clear on the right side and then got blasted and the ball pops out and Jesse Bramble is on it after. Just when you get to this point right here, just go down. Not a big deal. He turned his back, took the hit, coughed it up over and Fordham on the Jesse Bramble recovery has it at the 19 and they will run it before that game of the century 50 years ago Matt is another running play for Fordham bounced outside Trey Wilson some elusiveness Got a flag tripped up at the holding number 71 offense 10-yard penalty Vince Lombardi one of the seven blocks of granite they had up there at Fordham Seven blocks of granite, which they could use right now. They could use it. 
and played their home games at the Polo Grounds at Yankee Stadium. Tim Demorat throws, and it's caught by Nikese Carter. Well, in, the, in the Patriot League, you know, they go against Lehigh, Lafayette, Bucknell, those types of schools. And I think he'll do, he'll do fine. Throw the football, he was able to make good decisions, and heck, that's what should happen. And good job by uh, Adrian had to do, and defensively. So pretty much a, a well-rounded game, which is what you expect. Their playbook when he comes into the game. And getting valuable reps in the back half of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter today. Pushing the pile for a first down. The strike line still going. <laughs> And the number today for Ryan Greenhagen, 24 tackles. Yeah, that's 24. Right. 24. Yeah, that's like three games for most people. To roll and maybe throw. No, running. Oh, look at the acceleration by Smothers. Oh, he can run. Nebraska started the season 0 and 1 in three of the last four years, but they'll be back on level terms of games last week with 11 and there's someone on the field today with 25 tackles smothers throwing xavier betts stephen williams nebraska getting a lot of backs into the game now jaquez yant coco sula's tied it for fordham at 7-7 nebraska had a 10-7 lead a field goal was blocked by markel dismuke and the Huskers haven't stopped scoring since. Yant off the right side, strong run. Yant again. If you assess the 300 rushing yards that they now have. Your offensive line's played exceptionally well. And I know I've been beating that thing to death all game long, but that's the truth. The truth is that they came and they needed to play better, and they did. Leaping for it, Alante Brown. Incomplete. Huskers. Yance running it. A conversion by Yant. Hit right at the 14 and spins down. Marvin Scott running. And that tackle by Ward Watchlist for the Defensive Player of the Year in FCS. Marvin Scott running. Shy of the five-yard line. That's right. Last two minutes. Marvin Scott getting a lot of totes on this drive, including one for a touchdown. But from there, Nebraska has asserted their will on the game, particularly with their ability to run the ball in the second half. Carry for Trey Wilson. Wilson outside the 45 and stepping out. Demorat stayed in at quarterback all the way until the end. Wilson running and caught from behind by Atiba Morga Clements. Maybe one last pass attempt here for Demorat. Nope, it's a run. And out of bounds from midfield. Antonio Cortez Fair. Perhaps the last snap of the game. Cortez Ferrier running the ball for the Rams. Ends up a yard short of the first down. And that was fourth and five. For Nebraska and the three plus seasons for Scott Frost. Matt Masker came in for the last snap of the game at quarterback. Cooper Jewett runs the ball in the last play of the game. And it's a final. Put it in the books. Nebraska now 1-1 one one with a 52-7 win today before a sold-out Memorial Stadium in Lincoln. There's a lot to work with here. So he, he's got a lot to correct, like I said, but he's got a lot to be, to be happy about. I believe Eric Chenander, the defensive coordinator.